discussing a lot in uh, a lot in different about uh, how to measure disability and how to find a, a new way of doing it. Um, most of us in the in the, in the MNE tribe always uh, get a kick out of doing the same things in a new way, uh, so that uh, we are we are our, our, at least our day job becomes that much interesting. So this is another uh, way of uh, trying to do this. Um, and so why are we uh, so why are we doing this kind of a, a measurement? Uh, is to provide uh, services. This is more at the services uh, delivery and to kind of, uh, if you are a service provider, uh, how would you want to uh, channel your service uh, delivery? So that is uh, one of the more important way. This will this will help you. This is not a necessarily a diagnostic tool for disability, but but it is a more useful thing if you're in the service provision way. Uh, and to monitor the level of functioning, uh, it it takes the focus from the medical and the hair medical aspect, and th then it shifts to the um, functioning aspect of disability and to assess equalization of opportunities like if you're providing opportunities are every is everybody able to access access it and uh, and lastly the more the main core of this conference and this workshop uh, is about uh, SDGs and if you find it's a, it's a cross-cutting team as Aniruddha said uh, almost in all the uh, SDGs more so in, in quality education uh, inequality sustainable cities uh, strong institutions and partnerships. So, so most of the uh, so there there is at least one indicator uh, which specifically talks about these things in in these um, goals. So uh, what is it? So what are we trying to do? We are, we are trying to trying to take disability measurement as a binary between uh, do you have a disability or not. So that's how the, the binary we probably always we've seen. So now we're trying to place it on a continuum uh, based on the functionality. So that is the change and shift which I'm trying to uh, kind of bring to the flow. Uh, this is not uh, extremely new. This is uh, done by the Washington group uh, who kind of piloted it and they've been uh, leading this uh, throughout. And this kind of an understanding is very useful for uh, project implementers and even, even the government also. Uh, so this is how uh, we. This is how it is done. So there are only six questions. It's a short set of six questions only. Uh, they have timed it. It only takes about uh, two minutes maximum to include this in your existing uh, surveys. So there is a detailed protocol of how to actually do this, and um, and there is translation protocol. There are a lot of things there. Uh, but the essential thing is that you're not saying that you're going to measure disability. The survey does not say under a subheading called disability. So you're not telling to the person that I'm going to measure disability and now you say about this. It's just a, a, a flow of sequence of thought and it just comes in as part of your demographic, demographic questions or whatever. So that is why it's limited. There's an extended set. People who want to delve a lot more deeper, you can go there. But this, this is just a short set. Uh, this is about vision. It's about hearing. It's about uh, mobility. It's about uh, concentration and focusing, self-care and communication. Six aspects very short and people have to answer how much uh, difficulty they have uh, with some difficulty a lot of difficulty or cannot do it at all so this is this is it keeping as simple so this is something which you can go back and actually try in your service and do uh, like some some of us who have to go back tomorrow and write this obnoxious thing called back to office report so you can actually go and actually do and actually say this that yes we are going to do this uh, try something like this and uh, the additional element to it is that it gives you, it you gives you the data collector, the the strength to maintain the cutoff point. So you can either have this cutoff point, with including all of this, some difficulty, lot of difficulty, and and uh, cannot do it at all. You can either place that as a cutoff point if that is how your program is designed, or you can place this is the cutoff point, and then you can see. Uh, so the so the larger you keep the cutoff point you'll have a larger prevalence rate, so as to say. And the more you, you, you constrict it, you get a more sharper uh, thing. So this is with you. So uh, this is based on, as I said, based on your project level implementation, what you want to keep. And so, and when you analyze it, though, those of us who sit uh, geeks on the excels, uh, so this is how you take uh, and analyze it. And then if you want to uh, have multiple uh, levels of disability, then you do a plot like this, where, at which place do you have a larger disability, like like vision is more, or hearing is less, or mobility is less. So this is a kind of a fertile ground for multiple analysis. 
and and that is what i want to uh, leave you with that this is an option and this is something which is uh, interesting kind of kind of a game changer in how we look at disability and how we actually measure and anal analyze uh, disability related uh, data um so this is uh, kind of recommended or endorsed or funded by a lot of you in agencies so this is not something which is uh, which is not having a academic backing this is this has been tested in many countries uh, and it's been used for also for sdg measurement possible and uh, even some uh, international ngos use it and different is also trying to uh, use it uh, we in india have not actually piloted it uh, but some in afghanistan pakistan have actually tried uh, and have found encouraging results uh, the last thing is there if you have any questions you just go there uh, you will have they are very helpful like if you have uh, if you shoot out a mail they reply more often sometimes even within 24 hours so so that is so that's what i'm placing on this flow um looking at disability in a different perspective and trying to analyze and making decisions which are suited to your needs and it's not one uh, dichotomy of yes or no that's it thank you